Thanks so much. All right, it's time to chat with John Castellmedes from the Review Journal today, and we're kicking it off along with Melody Sweets, who's joining us to talk about her show and the Cabaret Jazz at Smith Center, because this is your third show coming up. And John, I know you're there all the time watching all constantly. the shows mm -hmm. at Cabaret Jazz. I'm there Jazz. more than I should be. Yeah, you are there a lot, aren't a you? Lot, yeah. You're a regular. There's a held room there, and I'm in it. <laughs> and I'm assuming you've seen Melody's show. Mm -hmm. Yep, I have not because it's always late on a weekday, <laughs> but I've seen many of your other things. Always love it. All Thank right, so you. let's talk about this. You've had, uh, what, two successful shows, so you're like, hey, let's do a third. Yes, two sold-out shows, and now it's time for the third one. And they say, do they say the third one That's is a third. charm? Yes. Mm -hmm. The third, third one, is, one a charm, is a charm. But you haven't done it yet. It's going to be a charm. Oh, sure is. It's going to be a charming show. And just for anyone that doesn't know, Melody regularly in absinthe at Caesars Palace. Yes. Amazing show. But it's Thank kind of you. fun to do your own thing every now and then, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I, I mean, I love absinthe. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's wild. And it's definitely been a wonderful ride. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, it's given me a chance to do other things. And like this, the sweet spot at Cab Jazz. So, Katz, when you watch the show, what do you like that's kind of different than the personality we see of Melody and Ab Well, it's something, Epson. it's unique. You know, in talking to Myron Martin after the second one of these, he says, he came up to me and said, that was really different yeah. in, a, in a good way. It's not something <laughs> you normally see at Cabaret Jazz, and that goes also for the, the shows that Melody's done in the tent at, mm -hmm. uh, at uh, Caesar's Palace, the sure. Spiegel tent. It's a, it's a happening. It's a very cool vibe. There's a lot of talent, a lot of variety of talent mm -hmm. in the show. I think you've got the tappers, right? Sean and John yes, from, from Absinthe. Absinthe are going to be in the show. There's a lot of unique qualities to it. And you just go into a portal and have a really cool kind of underground time in a in a classically appointed room. Yeah, I mean, variety is good in that room, right? Because it's... it's oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's working room. out wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And you, so you have guest performers as well? I do. Uh, this time we have special guest, Mr. Murray Hill. He's oh. a comedian. Um, uh, international burlesque star, Dirty Martini. Oh, Dirty Martini. Dirty. I, I love that. burlesque name. Mm -hmm. uh, a beautiful uh, Miss Exotic World, Lulu DeVille. Okay. Uh, we have a dance duo, Fugazi. It's like they're fighting and dancing at the same time. It's really passionate and naughty and beautiful. Okay. And we have the beautiful pinup star, Miss Bettina May, coming Love in it. on top of a 10-piece band headed by Lon Bronson. And mm -hmm. it's just stunning. It's such a beautiful room to be able to look up on the balcony yeah. and everyone gets all decked out. It's all really right. fun. May 22nd, 930, right? Yes. Let's talk real quick, Imagine Dragons. Yes. They're coming to the T-Mobile Arena, and they've announced a new album, right? And yeah. they're from here, from Evolve. folks who don't know. Yes, they are Las Vegas, a Las Vegas band. And uh, they've played places like uh, Beauty Bar and O'Shea's in the mm -hmm. old days. Wow. And, uh, oh, and wow. now they're at T-Mobile Arena on September 29th. They're going to be performing uh, at the Billboard Music Awards, a song Believer, off of their new album, Evolve, that's coming out soon. I'm a big fan. Yeah. A big fan. This is a classic. A band that is a classic example of doing it a thousand times to get it right. Mm -hmm. They deserve every inch of the success, and they're going to be representing along with Cher and uh, Celine Dion on the Billboard Awards. I'm excited the for the Billboard mm -hmm. Awards yeah, at the T-Mobile. They're the best award show for, for uh, performances, Billboards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Chainsmokers, what, they perform over at the Wynn, too, and they're yeah. up for, like, a record number of nominations as mm -hmm. well. I'm yeah, loving all their right music. Now. Yeah, yeah, th this is going to be a really, uh, it's a concert show. And guess where you show. can watch it? Let me guess. <laughs> Competing Network? No, right here on Channel 13. I had no idea. Uh, you Nobody, told me. Nobody told me this. I don't watch enough TV. No, hey, Katz is always covering a million things in the entertainment world here in Las Vegas. You can check out more in his column online and, of course, in the newspaper. And we will be back after this. Katz! <laughs>